Hello and welcome to this week's Game Dev Podcast with me, Lex, and Libby, who unfortunately has had dental surgery, so we won't be on camera and Libby might be a little bit quieter than usual. Isn't that right, Libby? Maybe just a little bit. Oh, if you could see her, she's all swollen up like a puff pastry. It's just awful. Just, just awful. So, for a change, this week we're just going to do a focus on Kickstarter. And Libby's picked out for us three wonderful Kickstarter projects, which all look really, really good. One of which we've already backed and we're very excited to see. And the other two look like they've got a lot of potential. We just want to show them to you. Have a chat, see what's working, see what's not. So, Libby, shall we start with Cave Crawler? Yeah, I picked this specifically because I know you love a retro game. I do love retro games. I love the fact that it says it's inspired by Game Boy era games. You see, I grew up with a Game Boy. Did you? Did you have a Game Boy growing up? I didn't. My, my older brother had one. You're, and make, you're making me sound old again. That's because you are old. They're, whatever, whatever. No, I'm not going to write it. Okay, so, Cave Crawler from the Game Boy era. Shall we start with the video, Libby? Let's go for it. Right, let's have a quick look-see. Right, immediately it's got me on the music. Oh my god. I knew you'd love it. it oh my god, look at it go. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? I love I'm such a sucker for this graphical style. It's because you're old. It's because I have taste and class, thank you. Sorry, you're not old, you're vintage. Yeah, let's go with vintage, <laughs> yeah. I, I love this, it reminds me of the old Zeldas on the Game Boy and obviously Pokemon. It just looks, to me this just looks great. It's cute, isn't it? It really is cute. This is possibly the best one you've shown me so far. Today, obviously. Oh, I love that. I absolutely love that. That is fantastic. Only 7%. Only 7%. Oh. Well, if you think that was With great, eight days to go as well. Make sure you pop over and visit it. Cave Crawler, a retro exploration adventure. With that said, let's take a look and see if they've got on with their page. So Libby, in your opinion, how is this page looking? Are you happy with it? Any comments? Anything you like? Anything you don't like? I feel like they could have given us a little bit more. Do you know but, what? Sorry, just before you go in, that logo, yeah. right? Love the graphics, love their art style, love it all. Mm -hmm. That logo should be on like a background color of some sort. Yeah, it's, it's just not, a bit bland, isn't it? It's not doing it any favors. I mean, obviously it's low bit, that's the whole purpose. So yeah, yeah the points there, but it needs a background color. The whole video is in that lovely vintage Game Boy greeny gray. Yeah. They should have had it on that. Yeah, but then the text wouldn't have worked so well on that. But no, I, I mean, yeah, they could have done like a whole thing though even like a border around it would have been quite nice something yeah yeah but i do like how he's broken up the text so do i love that i am the casual wendigo the sole developer of cave crawler a retro exploration adventure blah 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 i'm not gonna read that four years ago i chose to make a game inspired by my love of game boy era games i think pokemon the legend of that called it and more however influences spread even to games like star g valley which you could see coming through so, and then, he, yeah, I love the way he's broken this up, though. I well, think the that's, arts, yeah, that's a cute, yeah. cute little thing. Absolutely love it. I started by using GB Studio. GB Studio? Yeah, it's not one that I've heard of either. Oh, I can't say. I'm, GB Studio, Game Boy Studio, perhaps? I mean, that would make sense, but I'm not too sure. Then grew out of that due to its limitations. You won't have that trouble with Godot, mate. I moved on to Java, but was struck with the difficulties of using a language with few maintained libraries for support and certain necessary functionalities. You won't have that trouble with Godot, mate. Finally, I've settled on using Unity. Okay. And C Sharp. Oh, many people could have seen your expression then. Everything has been going great. I didn't have an expression. I don't know what you're talking about. Everything <laughs> has been going great, and a demo should be released by the end of March or in April at the latest. You know, I hope he does release that demo, and I really want to play it. I, I really like that video. Really liked it. Right, so moving on, would you like to speak? I know I'm talking a lot this week. That's which is fine. I'm quite happy for you to take the lead on this one, you know, because dental yeah. surgery and all that. Yeah. <laughs> but no, that's fine. So I quite like that he's specifically saying why he's gone for Kickstarter. I, yeah. I quite like that. That's a nice touch. So one is because he doesn't make the, uh, sorry, he doesn't have the ability to make a full soundtrack. Well, not many people do, to be fair. That's completely valid yeah. reason. Two, he would like to port his game into consoles. Hmm. To be um, fair, that is a benefit of using Unity. I will give it that. Unity yeah. does support that. And lastly, he wants to better prom uh, he wants better promotional um, material for the game. That's as well. fair. That is fair. 
So, yeah, I, I quite like that he's been open and honest with that. Hang on, the current artwork isn't terrible. Mate, it's bloody brilliant. Terrible isn't even something you could consider. It's wonderful. I knew you would approve of Well, one. it's fantastic. Just look at it. I would also like to have a professional, high-quality trailer commission. Mate, your trailer was great. Your trailer was fantastic. Don't For anybody thinking of making a trailer, this is what you need. It showed the game. It showed the gameplay. It showed the graphics. It was everything you need. Yes, you can splash out ten, twenty thousand dollars whatever you want, on getting a professional trailer made. And yes, it will look great. It will look fantastic. But will it have your heart and soul? You can see the love that went into this trailer. It shines through. And for the record, I know we're singing this project's praises like there's no tomorrow, but we generally don't know the, the person creating it. Never heard of them before. They don't know we're doing this. But this is just for me. This is a great game. And again, I, I am a sucker for the retro. But the trailer, I really don't think at this stage you need to worry about anything else. Maybe when the game's released. Well, what do you think? No, I think it was a good trailer. I really liked it. The fact that it had, you know, it did have everything that you need in a trailer. It was yeah. really good. Yeah. So let's see what else we've got. Find the game on Steam. Lovely Steam page. Oh, remember, when you can, as soon as you can, as early as you can, you want to get a Steam page up for your game, even if it's nowhere near finished. Get it up there. Get a few screenshots, bit of text. Just gets it on people's radar. And that's what you need. So it's great that he's linking there. Yeah, absolutely. Follow the development on my YouTube channel. Great devlogs and things are brilliant. Join the Discord to get updates and playtests. Wonderful. I hope that's going well. And here's a teaser for Sandra. Not going to put that on, but I'm sure it's wonderful. Here's a sneak peek at the mainland. One of the eight levels you can explore. Maybe more if someone chooses the designer levels. Oh, that cheeky VK promoting his extra tears. Very Absolutely. clever. Worth it. I do love these graphics styles. So they really do sing to me. Yeah, I just, I, I would have liked a few more graphics, I think, basically, in this one. Oh, we're at the end. Goodness. Yeah. Oh. See, that's what I mean. It's very short and sweet. Oh. I think I would have liked a few more graphics, maybe a little bit more about gameplay, oh, but otherwise. I'm giving something away here, Libby. Look at this. You can see I've already backed this one. Yeah. Naughty me, but no, I do generally think a lot of this game and I hope it gets funded. So good for that. Risks and challenges. The entire budget for this game comes from crowdfunding. This is not a problem as I have plenty of free time to work on the game, meaning the release of the game will not depend on the success of this Kickstarter. The problems mainly well, arise from time to He's going to so. release it regardless. Well, let's hope so. As mentioned above, port to different consoles or create a soundtrack. These problems can be avoided by not porting to consoles, which would not be entirely ideal. Additionally, I have the knowledge of certain DAWs that would enable me to create a soundtrack on my own. It just wouldn't be to professional level. He's putting himself down again. I've been very impressed by what he's done so far. Which is why you backed Which it. is why I backed <laughs> it, yes. Yes, but no, I think this is a great project, as you can see, but you've got to make up your own mind, guys. Come to the page. Watch the trailer, read what he's put there, because he very well might update this and make up your own mind. But I think this is fantastic. So, but Libby. You do only have eight days to do so. Oh, is it running now, is it? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, eight days. Well, yeah, if, if it does seem like something's going to interest you, make sure you pop over sooner rather than later and take a look. Absolutely. And uh, obviously, I wish this guy all the best. So, let's take a look at the next one, eh? Let's do it. Okay. So, Kickstarter number two is Death touch it's an interesting name explore survive make it out alive well that's a nice tagline. i quite like yeah i quite yeah. like the tagline that's good that's good right so let's have a look now this is one that's new to me i hadn't seen this one before and so we no. shall see so it's a long video we're not going to watch it all okay well let's see because where it's we make very it long well, that's a nice set yeah. oh my goodness props to you for that tash mate that is good work good day Welcome back to the Hello. channel, or if it's your first time being here, thank you so much for clicking this video and choosing to watch it. My name's Nick Richardson. Hi, Nick. Some of you guys on here or wherever you've come from may know me as Richo POV. I'm a Twitch streamer, a YouTuber, right. a digital creator. That's wonderful, Nick. When are you getting to the content? Now look, what? Okay, Libby's telling me 128. So let's take a look and let's just jump forward a little bit. See if we can see some gameplay. Here we go. I really did like his tash. Though. That was fantastic. I'm glad you approve of the Tash. Just, just saying, just saying. Death Touch is an open world exploration horror survival game. Oh, I like this. It's got a nice ambience to it straight mm. away. It's got that Blair Witch style camera thing going on as well, which yeah. is nice. You used to see a lot more of that. They're coming back as movies. Like there's a lot of, uh, I've forgotten what the uh, term is for that. Yeah, it's, it's a style. I, I can't think of it either, but I know what you're saying. Yeah, it's just a style of film that's coming back, which is good. 
found footage films. I think that's the one. About. Yeah, there yeah. we go. There yeah, we there's go. a lot of films coming out like that, but like, like really low budget ones. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Aren't they the best though, the low budget ones? Sometimes. Sometimes they're just really bad. No. Oh, this, I watched one recently. Great. It was really bad. But back to this, yeah. I like this trailer. Yeah. I love that he's personally narrating it as well. The yeah. fact that he introduced himself at the beginning was really, really I nice. I think he took too long to get to this because... Well, I've never seen him before. No. So I, I've no idea who he is or his credentials. I mean, he tells me he's a streamer. Fine. Yeah. But Nick, Nick, calm down. However, he is going down, to Nick. be talking now for the rest of this video. Oh, really? Crikey. Yeah. Um, that's five minutes of solid talking. Yeah, which is, it's it's too much. Yeah, I mean, he's obviously going to explain himself. Yeah. And the thing is, if, I mean, I don't know well, this. That's an unfortunate screenshot, lad. Let me, <laughs> let me, there we go. I'll, I'll scroll down for him. Yeah. So I don't, I've stare. not watched any of his stuff on YouTube or whatever as either. So he is new to me. So if he's got quite a following, then they're probably used to him talking things. And mm, mm. it's obviously fine. However, yeah. this is a Kickstarter page. It's not your YouTube channel. No. That's something I would say. But, but with that said, I really liked his introduction. I love that he came in. Yeah. I love that he introduced himself. And I love that he told me a little bit about his background. Yeah. And then the personal narration through that trailer. That, to me... Just remember, you did skip about a minute before we got to the trailer, though. I did. did so have you watched up to that point normally, have you? Is it tedious? Does he go on a bit? A little bit. Oh, I mean, Nick. But it's more that it doesn't need to be included in this. Really? I will say... The top I will of the say the first here, 30 seconds of him introducing himself, great. And then... You know, we've got what we was it like? A minute. A, yeah, and then we had like a, a minute or so of trailer, uh, of actual trailer, which was really good, and then we've got five minutes of talking. But what does he talk about here then? I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know the first thing about building a video game. Okay, maybe I dumped it at a really unfortunate point. Yeah. There. Uh, so he's generally telling us this is his first game, then, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And that's not an issue. Might be worth watching the video in full, guys, if you get time, because obviously we are jumping through it. We are. But, but I, he's being honest. Though, he is he? being honest, and he does say it again. If you scroll down, he does actually say, "Only problem was I have zero experience." See, that's good and bad. Now, yeah. obviously, we're giving him the benefit of the doubt. We've seen a lot of indie developers come up and grow and be very, very successful, so we Absolutely. know it can be done. Yes. But if you are someone that's been burnt on Kickstarter before, seeing somebody that you don't know say, "I've got no experience," might come across bad. So, yeah. Although at the same time, I'm not quite sure what to say because you, you should say that. You should always be honest with people. Yeah, I, I do think you should be honest, but yeah, it, it's a difficult one, I think. In because block caps, like he's put that, it's a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. That stands out more than. But what have we got here? Let's skim read because people are going to skim read. We've got Nick Richardson, Rich Opov. I have zero experience. Death touch, death touch. Lots, be warned. I want it to be alive. I mean, I'm just skim reading now. I'm sure other people yeah. skim reading in different ways, but that's what I would have got from that. And the bit which would obviously pop to me is, I have zero experience. Not feeling yeah. any confidence, but... It's worrying, isn't it? But... Again, if people watch the video, which if I remember correctly, your research, most people actually don't watch the video. No. But if you watch the video, I would generally say that that is alleviated by seeing Nick come in, introduce himself. He's got a face I would trust. I'd vote for him in an election, Livy. You just like the moustache. It was a good moustache. I mean, his benefit, because I have just gone and had a, had a quick look at his YouTube channel, is he does have 85,000 subscribers on YouTube. Wow. So he obviously does have a following. Yeah. And one would like to think that some of those subscribers are going to come over to Kickstarter. Well, you'd be upset if they didn't, wouldn't you? <laughs> you would, wouldn't you? But if I, this one hasn't reached its target, though, has it? Has it not? No, I mean, he's not far off. No, he... Oh, only five days. But there's only five days to go. I mean, I think he could definitely do it in that time. Yeah. I mean... To, to be honest, I think this is another one I shall probably back, actually. Yeah. I mean, the game itself looks quite good. Oh, is this the end of his... I've just yeah. gone a little bit further. So Where, he hasn't put an awful lot on there, which is disappointing. Oh, Nick. But... I mean, for me, he's obviously falling on his background of being a streamer and YouTuber. Nothing wrong with that. Shows which is fine. Commitment. Yeah. But I think for people like us who hadn't heard of him before, he needs to include a bit more on his Kickstarter page. Yeah. And I think the video has really let him down because he's 
done it like it's a YouTube video or a streaming video. And it's that's not what Kickstarter is. I want to see mm. gameplay. You know, by all means, introduce yourself. 30 seconds. Seeing him on screen is actually really nice. I like that he's come on screen and spoken to us first. Then do the actual trailer bit that we watched. And then that's it. You don't need any yeah. more video footage after that. Yeah, I, I agree with everything you've just said, to be honest. I, the only thing that really upsets me on this page is the complete lack of anything here. I mean, I Yeah, there's no images, there's no much, GIFs, but... there's... It is just text, which is like a real pet peeve of mine, as you know. Yeah. Well, a comprehensive risks section down the bottom, though. That's that's really big. As a family man, I'm running a business yeah. full-time, streaming three times a week and uploading YouTube, TikTok. But I like that. Day. I'm very time poor. Learn how to manage my time. Well, yes, if you're doing all that, you would have. But what he's done is he's put the biggest challenges, time, game development, knowledge, equipment, assets. And then he's gone into detail about it as well. So we don't have to read the detail yeah he's broken it down he's broken it down if you want to read that and i like that i like that he is being open and honest and they are realistic challenges that are personal to him yeah so i i do really like his risks section i just wish there was a bit more in terms of images and gameplay and gifs and things like that within the yeah. story bit well i still think that's a good project and i dare say i will back it I really like that. I just think it's missing. This story is the main section that's missing for me. Yeah. I mean, if, if, if you like a lot of people, you don't watch this video, especially when you think, oh, seven minutes, not watching that. You come down here, you're like, can't see anything apart from a few big words that jump out of you. I have zero experience being the big one. Yeah. That might put people off. Which is a shame because I think it could be a really good game. Same, same. And again, I really like the actual trailer bit he yes. has put in the trailer if yeah. that makes sense no completely agree and again this is another one i really hope he hits his target so if you're interested in seeing this this is death touch all one word it's got five days left so you show me really quick in once this week i am and he's not far off his goal so let's hope he can reach it right and you've got one more for us this one week, more Lily. right let's take a look Okay, so our third and final Kickstarter this week is Kill All Litterbugs, multi-platform game to save the Earth. Wow, they're, they're promising a lot, aren't they? Yeah. Um, now, this one has been funded, you'll notice. Oh, yes. Quite a bit, actually. Yeah, and so it's still got 13 days, days to go, to go wow. and it has already hit its goal. Now, this is going to be one that you're either going to love the look of or hate the look of, I think. Okay. I'm undecided at this present moment. Right, well, let's have a watch. How long are we talking video-wise? 56 Two. seconds. Okay. So... Let's give it a watch. Pretty good length. Twelve seconds. I'm hoping something happens now. There is a lot of focus on ve vehicles, I've noticed. Yeah. Is this a Unity game, then? Um, it looks like Unity, yeah. It does look like Unity, doesn't it? I'm trying to think if he says it in it. Well, the trailer does nothing for me whatsoever, if I'm honest, but obviously I'm in the minority. A lot of people have backed it. Uh, what, what's your thoughts on the trailer? Perhaps you've got a bit more to add. I quite like the the bugs, as they're calling them. Okay. I like the bug designs of literally being made. They're obviously made from, from litter. Space goo as well. Yeah. Okay. But um, it doesn't really tell me an awful lot of what I'm doing. I didn't see a man with a mustache, so obviously it's lost points there. For me obviously, yeah. I mean that is now a key component Absolutely. for all. All kickstarts you have to have a man, preferably an Australian man with a mustache. Yes. <laughs> Jokes, of course, they're not necessary. But let's have a look. Let's see what Jesse has done. So that is a lot of words. It's a lot of text, um, isn't it? Yeah, can't be asked to read that. <laughs> Kill all little bugs stretch goals. Okay. So he's already hit one of the stretch goals and is on the way to the second one. And that is it. Okay, so maybe I should be bothered to read this. Right. Little bugs are trashing our planet and it's time for it to stop. Players will be able to travel by foot or vehicles across the landscape to confront alien litterbugs and clean up their mess. 
The game is not just a fun open world adventure, it also raises awareness and encourages everyone to clean up their community and public lands. Well, there we go. Oh, hang on a second. The game is endorsed by the Gambler 500 and Sons of Smokey, two Oregon-based organizations that have removed over 4 million pounds of trash from public lands in the past 10 years. Well done, that's good work. Keep it up, guys. Yeah. Okay. I actually think he should have made a bigger point of that. Yes, yeah, so do I. I'm a 3D artist with over 20 years experience and is developing the game using Unreal 5. I did not get Unreal 5 from that trailer. That's no. All. Crikey, that surprises me. A modern development program that enables games to be designed for all platforms, PC, console, and mobile. I have worked for major studios like Disney, ESPN, NBA, Cartoon Network, and more. So this guy's got credentials. Yeah. My goodness, he's got credentials, isn't it? The idea came from a large event held in Redmond, Oregon, each July, where thousands of people gather in strange modified cars and compete to pick up the most oh, trash. Well, that'll be why there's such a heavy yeah. focus on vehicles, isn't there? Okay. Well, this certainly seems like an interesting game, one which is trying to raise public awareness about littering and yeah. mess and things like that. Okay. I, I, I definitely like the idea behind yeah, it. Yeah, it's got a nice idea. I'm just not wowed, if I'm honest. I'm sorry, I don't mean to sound harsh. I'm just not wowed by this. No, I do Am think... I I think he's let himself down here because the idea and the concept I think is actually really quite yeah, good. Yeah, I, I agree. And his credentials are fantastic. And his yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But the this, trailer's a bit lacklustre. I will say one thing just before you carry on. Despite me sounding a little bit negative about this one, this is a game I generally believe will be finished. Yes. I get the impression this guy will complete this project. Oh, I do as well. And yeah, I mean, I... Like I was going to say, the video is quite lackluster, doesn't really tell me an awful lot in terms of the gameplay, and the story section for me, it's, he should have brought more attention to the fact that it's endorsed by the, um, the Gambler 500 and yeah, Sons, Sons of Smokey, because Smokey. Mm. I think that is actually a really good thing to mention and his credentials. But I would have liked some images and things in there as well. Yeah, it's, I, a, it's a lot of text. If you watch the video, if you watch the trailer, you can get the impression that things have hit space stations and satellites, made a mess, yeah. spilled some goo on bugs, which are now attacking people. Yes. But you've got to have watched the trailer for that. Yeah. I mean, in this text, there isn't an awful lot of, that's really telling me about the game itself i mean it says it's open world do you recall the percentage of people that watch the videos because it was a really low percent was it like 20 percent or something like it, that? it is a low amount i can't remember the number exactly if i'm honest much lower than you'd expect though I yeah that. and people tend to click through it as a lot as well yeah really jumping around oh yeah goodness, goodness yeah that could be really however good. it is a short trailer it's only yeah. 56 seconds long so the shorter length it is, the good. more likely people are going to watch it. Yeah, the length was good. Unlike the last one, which was over seven minutes. Seven minutes. Yeah. I mean, not that to, is too long. Not to fix it on that one as well, but if you're jumping around, you can end up with just chappy on screen. Yes. Talking on you, which isn't ideal. Yeah, you could easily miss the actual trailer in yeah. that one. But we're not talking about that. Project. But we're not we talking, talking about this. About we are talking about litter bugs or kill all litter bugs. Kill all litter bugs. Right? I'm glad to see it's been funded. Overfunded yes. as well. Which is it's nice. actually, yeah, overfunded. I mean, how's he doing? So he's got to get to 7K. And what, what's this in American money? Oh, he's already got 7K goal. So wonderful. So what's this next one? 8K. I think it's possible for him to get there. How many days do you have left? I'm scrolling like mad. 13, 13 days, days to go. Not project we love either. So and it's even no. been exposed. No. And I'm, especially with the background of it being and the good cause, environmental yeah. um, activism. Act, act, I can't talk today. Activism, yes. That's the yes. one. I'd say put your teeth in. That seems inappropriate to say this week. But no, it's got all the things which you would usually think that Kickstarter would... Put yeah, I'm surprised time. Kickstarter yeah. haven't sort of really clung to this, actually. Yeah. Again, his credentials, the point of the game he's making, the backing he's got. I'm really surprised. No, but generally, despite the fact that this does nothing for me, I do think this is a good project. I do think this is one which will be completed, which is always great yeah. to see. Oh, let's have a look at his risks and challenges. We've not covered that yet. Risks and challenges. Listing a game for distribution on platforms such as PC, Xbox, and PlayStation requires upfront platform costs and may cause some slight delays while the game's reviewed by the store. That's very true. Actually, you've got yeah. to buy the developer kits if you're not aware of it. They can take time to get through, time to review, and obviously you've then got to integrate them into the engine you're using. All games ship with some level of bugs. They do, but they shouldn't. 
No, but they always do. Looking at you, EA. For indies, you've got more of a reason for it. You yeah. Test everything, but for the big boys, anyway. But it still happens. Point aside, all games ship with some level of bugs and perform differently on different systems. Very true. That's why PC games tend to come out later. Looking at you, GTA 6. Playtesting on different hardware will help it ship without crashes, bugs, or poor performance. Games can require expensive software develop, but only free slash open source software such as Unreal Engine and Blender are being used to reduce costs. That's fair. I mean, Blender, fantastic. Unreal Engine speaks for itself. Amazing engine to yep. use. Yeah, I mean, he's doing the right things. And being a 3D graphics designer himself, I would imagine he uses lots of other tools as well. Which oh, probably, yeah. Penny. Yeah. And he's obviously going to be very skilled at what he does, oh, having 20 skilled. years experience. Yeah, yeah. No, I think this is. I think this is good. Again, it's not a game which I personally would play, but I think if this, you know, tickles your fancy, guys, I think you're in good hands with this one, and I think you've got a good chance. Yeah. So this is Kill All Litter Bugs, a multi-platform game to save the Earth. 13 days remaining, so you've got just under two weeks to check it out if you're interested, and see what you think. And that is us for this week, Libby. That Hopefully, is us for this week. Next week you'll be fixed. Well, we've well got I'm a... hoping the swelling will have gone down. Well, all right. Fixed is a strong <laughs> word, but hopefully the swelling will have gone down. Which, next week, I think you've got something to announce, haven't you? Which I'm looking forward to talking about. Your own yeah. game project you started on with. Maybe even we'll have something to show, which would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, that might be um, pushing it a little bit, but it, we'll see. It might be, but we'll certainly have enough to talk about. Yeah. So, thank you all for watching, and we'll look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.